I'm Anthony. When I was six, I was a mama's boy. I loved my mama more than anyone in the world. However, one day my mama left dad and I, and I don't know why. I never knew why. I felt like my mama abandoned me. It broke my heart. In high school, I had bad grades and I didn't care for school until I had one teacher, Mrs. Brooks, who taught me how fun and important school really is. Mrs. Brooks really felt like a mom, my school mom. My grades started to really improve. I actually liked school. However, one day Mrs. Brooks said she was moving with her family. There it was again. I felt like my school mom was abandoning me too, just like my real mom. Abandoned and heartbroken all over again. I just graduated college and secured a nice high paying job. Better than that, I'm getting married in a week. I was so scared that my bride wouldn't show up to the wedding. But to my surprise, she did. I was ecstatic and we got married. Two years into marriage, we had a one year old son, Anthony Jr named right after me. Our careers are thriving and I've never been happier. Unfortunately, in the back of my mind, I keep thinking how my mom and school mom abandoned me. Would my wife abandon me too with our son? I was a nervous wreck. I didn't want to be heartbroken again. One day my wife said she needed to go on a business trip for a few days, but said she would be right back. I couldn't help to think she would have come back though. Without a second's hesitation, I left before she could leave. I was not going to be heartbroken again. I couldn't deal with it again. I hope my son Anthony will understand. He was only two, he wouldn't even remember me. I moved to another country without a goodbye. Five years into living my new life in Spain, I realized that abandonment ruled over my life. I did exactly what my mom and Mrs. Brooks did to me. I felt terrible. I traveled back to my old home and to my surprise, it was abandoned. I inquired as to what happened to the boy and his mother at this once loving home. The new neighbor, without knowing my identity, said the boy's father abandoned the family without a trace. The boy's mother could not take it and abandoned the boy as well. The boy now lives in a foster home. I visited the foster home and saw my seven-year-old son, Anthony Jr., crying at a table alone. He didn't recognize me, of course. I asked him, why are you crying, boy? He said, I've been abandoned. All I could think was, what have I done? I'm responsible for Anthony Jr.'s abandonment.